Hi everyone, in uh, this video, we will learn about pinch points and pinch point injuries and how to avoid them. This question is increasingly being asked in the oral examination as part of the occupational health and safety subject of CFRS. So let's get started. Pinch points are the points which are found in and around the moving parts of a machinery where there is a high probability of a body part getting caught between a stationary and a moving part of a machine. So here on your screens you see that uh, there is a rolling part of the machinery where there is a high probability of this worker's fingers getting stuck and crushed or seriously injured. Pinch point injuries are normally related to the limbs getting stuck in the moving parts of a machinery which could be arms or legs. However, you must also remember that sometimes it is not the limbs which directly get stuck in the moving parts of the machinery. It could also be the clothing which may get stuck to the moving part thus sucking in your limbs along with the clothing. For example, there was a case study where um, the seaman's um, jacket got stuck in a wire mooring rope or a strand of a wire mooring rope and then it dragged the uh, seafarer along with it and the seafarer was banged against the moving part of the machinery and uh, he got seriously injured. So how to avoid pinch point injuries? Now pinch point injuries can be avoided uh, by a few of these mechanisms that I'll discuss. The first one is risk assessment. So before you start any work, um, assess the pinch points which may be there in the machineries that you are using and then assess the risk according to the probability of it occurring and the severity of the harm that it may pose. For example, if you are operating a machinery, ask yourself how um, likely it is for you to get your fingers stuck in the moving part and if it does then what kind of harm can it cause? Will it cause a loss of limb which will be um, uh, very uh, catastrophic or major harm or will it be uh, just uh, a finger getting stuck and you just uh, experiencing very minor pain and how likely it is to occur is it a low chance of it occurring or a very high chance of it occurring that is how you carry out a risk assessment and avoid a pinch point injury the other way of avoiding pinch point injuries are of course to have machine guards placed around the machinery as you see on your screens right now so when you're working around machinery, if there are machine guards, they kind of uh, act as a barrier between you and the moving part of the machinery. Sometimes you also have something called machine devices installed, which actually stop the machinery if the machinery comes in contact with the mo moving part or a body part. Something like the doors of an escalator or lift, uh, which if they sense there is someone um, coming in between the doors or if you place your hand on the doors, the lift doors stop closing and they open back up. The third type, uh, the third way of uh, avoiding pinch point injuries is of course to wear personal protective equipment. Uh, always wear protection uh, for your limbs, especially when we are talking about pinch point injuries. Uh, wear your safety helmets, um, eyeglasses, um, uh, earmuffs, uh, your gloves, uh, safety boots to prevent uh, any kind of injuries from occurring on your limbs especially if they uh, you know are related to you getting stuck to a machinery part or a moving part finally i will like to show you that uh, apart from you taking preventative measures there are ways that you can actually uh, replace the pinch points as you can see on the left side of the screen there was a pinch point with this hatch here which on opening uh, using the yellow colored handle the fingers uh, could get hurt between the handle of the hatch and the um, pipeline which is there next to the handle of the hatch. So this pinch point was removed and it was replaced. The hatch handle was changed. The position of the hatch handle was changed to the top of the hatch handle. So to avoid the fingers getting stuck between the pipeline and the uh, yellow colored handle of the hatch cover. So this is another way to avoid pinch point injuries. Uh, so I hope you understood what are pinch points and what are pinch point injuries and how you can avoid them. 
Uh, like I said, uh, uh, a lot of uh, questions are being asked in the oral examination regarding pinch points and what they are and how to avoid them. Uh, remember, you can also replace them, not only eliminate them, but you can also replace them uh, with a safer method uh, to avoid injuries. Uh, I'll finish this video here. Thank you for watching today's video and let me know what you thought about it. Bye.